before the visa officer talks to you or asks you questions, he is going to be looking at you. So what you wear and how you look is important. And in this video, we are covering exactly that. So this is a what to wear for your USA visa interview video, the work visa edition. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find lots of useful videos on the US visa process, particularly for the work visa categories that is B1, H1 and L1. So we have individual playlists for all of these visas and you'll also find a lots of free resources as well. So do check the links in the description box. Before we begin, let's understand why what you wear is important. Now, officially, there are no guidelines issued by the US Embassy or the US Consulate giving you a checklist of what to wear, what not to wear, do's and don'ts. But remember, it's a formal setting, it's a formal interview, and the visa officer is also usually dressed in some type of formal clothes. So it's important that you fit in to this environment. Also, what you wear reflects your background, your qualification, and the role that you're going to the US. So you really want to get all of this right. And lastly, one thing that we notice very commonly is that visa officers tend to look not only at the candidate or the person they're interviewing, but they do glance up and look at who's next and who they have to interview next. And when you're standing in line waiting for your turn, that's the first impression that you're going to make at the visa officer and you want to get that. So all of this can be taken care of with the right clothes and the right grooming. So we're going to cover this in detail in this video. And since each visa category is different, we are doing it separately for H, L and the B1 category. And so we have certain do's and don'ts with some sample photos so that you get a very clear understanding. And here are the timestamps for all of these visas. So you can skip right ahead to the category that applies to you. Let's get started. So let's start with the B1, also known as the business or the work visa. So B1 visa is used for travel to the US for any work or business purpose for a short period of time. So your company could use the B1 visa and send you to the US to attend any meetings. It could be client meetings or internal meetings. You could also visit US for trainings, uh, conducting workshops, trainings. It could be again conducted by you or you could be attending it. And you can also use the B1 visa for attending events, conferences and meetups. So for the visa interview, if you're going for a B1 visa, then you can think of wearing business casuals. Now, what exactly is business casuals? Business casuals is clothing, which is professional looking, yet it's not strict formals. So let's look at some pictures to understand this better. So starting with the men. So for the men, business casuals could look something like this. So you could think of wearing a half sleeves shirt, preferably in light color, and you can wear that with dark color jeans or trousers and subclothes shoes. Or you could also wear something like this. So you could wear a light color t-shirt with an informal blazer and again with pants or with dark jeans and close shoes. Of course, you can also be really, really safe and you could just wear a proper formal shirt, preferably in light colors with uh, trousers and close shoes. So all of these things work really well for a B1 visa. And if you're wearing jeans, the only advice I would have is that go for darker colored jeans. Make sure it's not light, faded or has some rips and tears in it. Now for the woman. So for the woman, business casuals would look something like this. So you could wear a formal top with trousers or again, dark jeans, or you could also wear a top with an informal blazer and some pants and closed jeans. Of course, you can wear Indian wear as well. So for Indian wear, you could wear a formal looking kurta in lighter colors and pair that with pants or a churidar. And even this looks good for a B1 interview. So these are all your dressing options for a B1 visa. You can take some screenshots, you can save it and use it as a reference when you go for your interview. Next, we'll talk about the H1B and the L1B visa category. So H1B and L1B are the two most popular visas, which allows Indians to work in the US. And it is usually issued for a period of three years and you can take your family along with you and you can live and work in the US. So for H1B and L1B visa, the main guideline would be to go for strict formals and to avoid business casuals. So business casuals is something that we spoke about for the previous B1 visa category. Now that is something which needs to be completely avoided for H1B and L1B. So when we talk about strict formals for men, it could look something like this. So you can think of wearing a light colored full sleeve shirt with trousers and closed shoes. 
and when it comes to the shirt uh, it's better to go for lighter colors like beige cream white because they tend to look more elegant more formal they are less distracting than darker colors and when it comes to trousers make sure that they are proper formal trousers don't think of wearing jeans or or any of the formal pants uh, because you really want the attire to look completely formal and of course close shoes which are clean which go with the rest of your clothes for women you have a little bit more variety so you can think of wearing western formals or indian formals so for western formals you can think of wearing a formal shirt or a top with skirt and pants and for indian formals you can think of wearing a formal looking kurta with churidar or with pants and a sari as well take screenshots of this and save it for your visa interview next let's talk about l1a visa which is a work visa which allows you to work in us on managerial roles so in a l1a visa how you conduct yourself how you present yourself is really important and a lot depends on whether you look and feel like a managerial material this is because in a l1b or a h1b visa they can ask you technical questions to judge your technical expertise your skill set but those technical questions do not exist for a l1a visa so conducting yourself well speaking well looking good becomes all the more important so for l1a visa i would say that take the level of formals up a notch which means that you need to plan for a proper business suit now i know that many of you would either not have a business suit or you haven't worn them in a really long time so you need to plan this in advance so a proper business suit would look something like this so you can think of a light colored shirt with trousers and the blazer matching it with close shoes or you could even think of something like this wherein you wear a formal shirt pants and a formal blazer to match the rest of the attire needless to say do not even think of wearing jeans and ties is something which i would say is a personal choice so if you're wearing a blazer tie would not really be required but if it is something that you wear regularly and it makes you feel confident you feel good in it then for sure go for it for the women you could think of western formals you could also think of indian formals so western formals think of a shirt with trousers or a formal skirt and plan a blazer with it you could also think of wearing formal dresses and for indian wear i would say that go for formal kurtas in lighter colors so colors like beige cream light pinks they tend to look more elegant more formal and with that plan for pants instead of churidars because i think straight formal pants look better than wearing churidars for a visa interview and of course if you're feeling really up to it and you're confident you like wearing it you can go for sarees as well so these are everything that you can wear for a l1 a visa interview you can take screenshots and save it as reference for your own visa interview so i hope that this exact guidelines on what to wear really helps you we also have some special tips to make your first impression even better in front of the visa officer first one is take care of your grooming so in addition to what you wear two things need to be paid special attention to one is your hair and second is your nails and i think these are two things which get ignored in all the rush of preparing but your hair and nails are very very visible very very noticeable when you're standing so close to a person so make sure that you are grooming your hair and nails well and that you smell good so don't wear something which is too overpowering or which is you know so strong that everybody in the room can literally sense it but a light perfume which gives a pleasant smell around you would really work wonders the second tip i would say is that how you greet how you wish the visa officer is really important so when you walk up to the visa officer take the onus of wishing the visa officer yourself right so don't wait for the visa officer to look at you and to wish you so the moment you walk up to the visa officer maintain eye contact have a slight smile on your face and you can wish him or her good morning or good afternoon a sir or ma'am would be enough you don't necessarily have to address them as a visa officer and the third thing is your voice i think it's really important to modulate your voice according to the environment you are in so if you feel that it's a noisy chaotic environment and you might not be heard then definitely up the pitch in your voice be a little bit louder but if you feel that the room is quiet it's quite calm then make sure that you're not being too loud so that you don't come across as somebody who's just shouting and you know who's just being too loud in the room so very important to take your environment your surroundings into consideration and modulate your voice your volume according so this is everything i really hope that this has helped you if you have any more questions 
feel free to leave it in the description box below. You could also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at chachi.mal. We also have a Telegram channel where we bring you more real-time quick updates. So do check out and join the Telegram channel as well. And like I said earlier, check out all the free resources. So you'll find tons of free resources in the description box below. You can also take a detailed preparation session with me. So we can do a one-to-one -one session to frame answers as per your profile. We can also do a mock session to give you practice and feel of the actual visa interview. So the links for all of this is right here in the description box. So do take a look and stay tuned for more videos for the work visa categories. I think the season for work visas is just beginning. So we have a lot more content coming up. Signing off for now. See you in the next one. Bye.